In today's video, we're going to take a look at how we can draw ray diagrams for convex and concave lenses. Let's start with concave, or diverging lenses, which are the ones that cause the light rays to diverge and spread out. To represent a concave lens when you're drawing a ray diagram, we use this symbol here. And you can see that it has these outwards pointing V shapes at either end, because they show that concave lenses get wider towards their ends. Next, we need to add our axis, which is a horizontal line through the middle of the lens, and our focal points, of which there will be one on either side. And you might sometimes hear the focal point being called the principal focus instead, but they both mean exactly the same thing. We also normally add another dot on either side that are twice as far away from the lens as the focal point is, and we label this one 2f. These will become important later on when we do convex lenses. In your exams though, you'll normally be given all of this stuff, so you probably won't have to draw it yourself. So let's imagine that this chicken is our object, and that we need to draw a ray diagram to show where the image will form. The first thing we do is pick a point near the top of our object, and draw our incident rays coming out of the object at that point. So one running parallel to the axis, and another one going towards the center of the lens. Because this second ray went through the center, it won't be refracted at all, and will just continue on straight. This first ray though will be refracted, and to find the angle it will be refracted at, we need to draw a virtual ray between this point, where it hits the lens, and the principal focus, or focal point, which we labelled F earlier. We normally draw this as a dashed line between the focal point and the lens, but then a solid line as it continues past the lens. Now that we've drawn all of our light rays, we need to find the point where they cross, which would be this point here. So this is the top of our image, and we could now repeat this whole process to find where the bottom of our image should be. But as a shortcut, if the bottom of the object is on the axis, like ours is, then the bottom of the image will also be on the axis. So there's no need for us to repeat everything. We know that the image is going to be here. In the exam, once you've drawn your ray diagram, you might also have to comment on the image. So in this case, we would say that it's virtual, because one of the rays used is a virtual ray. It's upright, because it's standing the right way up, and it's smaller than the object. And if you're using a concave lens like this, then the image will actually always be virtual. The next thing we need to cover is exactly the same stuff, but this time for convex, or converging lenses, which focus light onto a single point. Just like before, the first thing we do is set everything up. So with our lens, our axis, focal points, the object, and the two incident light rays. The only difference so far is that the V shapes at the end of the lens are the other way around, because this is how we represent convex lenses, which get narrower towards the ends. The ray passing through the middle of the lens won't be refracted at all, and will just continue straight on. The parallel ray, though, will be refracted so that it passes through the focal point on the other side of the lens, and then carries on going. And now that we've drawn all of the rays, we just need to find the spot where they cross which is down here. So this is the beak of our chicken, and we draw it in again. Again, you'll likely need to comment on the image. In this case, the image is real, because these rays are both real. It's inverted, which just means upside down, and it's smaller than the object. Bear in mind that in your exam, you won't be given a complex object like our chicken. Instead, you'll normally be given something simple, like an arrow and just make sure that you always draw your rays from the very top of the arrow like we have here, 
to make sure that you get all the marks. Now, ray diagrams for convex lenses won't always look like this. It's only because our object here is more than two times the focal distance away from the lens. If our object was at two times the focal distance exactly, then the image would still be real and inverted, but it would be exactly the same size. Or if it was between f and 2f, then it would be real, inverted, and larger than the object. The weird one is that if the object is between the focal point and the lens itself, then the refracted rays won't ever meet. So to find our image, we have to trace them backwards using virtual rays. Then we find the point where they meet and draw our image. In these cases, the images will be virtual, upright, and larger than the object. If you haven't heard yet, you can find all of our videos on our website, cognito.org. You'll also find questions, flashcards, exam style questions, and past papers. And we track all of your progress so that you always know what to study next. So sign up for free by clicking here or browse our playlist here on YouTube.